when the Lord spoke to me and my wife, he said that this is a season I want to bless you with a house. Glory to God. We didn't have the money. We, were there, we didn't have the wherewithal. But all we had was a word from the Lord. And everything that the apostle been preaching, I've been crazy enough to take my notepad every week on my phone and write it down. You see, some of y'all, God can do a miracle in your life, but you have gotten so common with the voice. So, we begin to prepare. Pastor Merv taught me how to elevate my prayer life, and we were praying in the spirit. One morning, and God says, Instead of waiting two years, you just got here, watch this, in June of last year. God says, instead of waiting two years, now is the time. I was crazy enough, Pastor, that I took the drill and my wife saw I was, I know she thought I was crazy. I started taking the curtains down. It's time to move. You know, because when God speaks, if you don't flow with God, you can miss it. You see, some of y'all are missing the move of God that's happening right now. I'm not talking about next week or next year. The move of God is happening now. Give God a praise for the wave of glory. So, Pastor, in that wave, I said, we better go get some boxes and start packing. The devil said, look at your bank account. I said, no. Because faith is not predicated on your circumstances. Faith is predicated on your movement. Faith is predicated on your preparation. What was I doing? I was making room. I grabbed the box. Before you know it, half of the house was packed. <laughs> Pastor, <laughs> I took the seats and everything. Y'all sitting on the floor. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I believe God, that God would do it. God would do it. Some of y'all don't know the backstory. When we came here from Chicago, my niece is here today. Praise the Lord. We came here from Chicago. When we got ready to close on our old house, watch this. We did a loan modification years ago, and we forgot about it. At, you know, at the time of closing, they come to collect. That was 35000 Because of my obedience to God, they said not only we're taking away 35000 which I had set for the move, because I spent everything. Someone shout everything. Some of y'all say, he's a fool. No, I, I spent everything, because I was trusting in God. When God told me to move here to North Carolina, I had no idea that I'll be here in Waxhaw. I never heard of Waxhaw. <laughs> See, Owens, he, he came far distance, way from over west. Not only that, watch this. $35,000 gone right off the top. Then they say you need to bring $5,000 to closing. These people crazy. Taking all my money. Get here. Didn't have much. 
but I trusted God. I said, I trusted God. See, what God was doing, he was trying to get me to get over an experience. See, your sickness is just an experience. Cancer is just an experience. That is just an experience. But once the Lord revealed to me that that was just an experience, brother, watch this. I tore down the curtains. We went to several loan offices. They told us, you only are eligible for this amount. That was an amount that we was looking for. And then we find ourselves fighting in Satan's system. Because every house that we tried to put a bid on, we would get outbidded. And God is saying, come over here. I want to bring you to a kingdom system. Watch this. Watch this. The Lord had a house hidden that we couldn't find. I called my realtor and said, what about that house we couldn't find? She said, let me call the builder. They was building the house, watch this, and the completion of it was in May. My lease ends up in June. So what I'm saying to you, why you are trying to figure out things, God has already worked out some things. And last time, my wife was crying because we didn't get that house. I told my wife, I said, I read the scripture. He'll turn your mourning into sadness, your sorrow into joy. I said, I don't know what it is, but I hear new. See, what God wants to do is he wants to bring you into a new place. A new smell. Come on, somebody. Some houses we walked into, I felt like walking right out. Because that wasn't the place. God said new. We ain't got to contend with no demons. God said new. Someone shout new. New job. New house. New money. God is doing it right now. If you believe that, give him a praise. Watch this, Elder Jan. When I gave the word, I said, God's going to move suddenly. The mortgage company that approved us was called Rocket Mortgage. I said, oh, God got personality. And the one that got our house now is called Jet Mortgage. Someone shout 17.5. Woo, glory to God. God is moving at rapid speed. Here's something else I want to give you before we leave. If you read Genesis, the 11th chapter, it was Abraham's father, Terah, that set out to go to Canaan first. And halfway there, he decides to settle in Haran. Haran means mountains, which implies that when some people face their mountain or giant, instead of overcoming it, they reside and they stay right there. They rather stay stuck in that peculiar place where God wants to elevate and move you from. Some of you have been stuck with the same disease Mental disease for 10 and 20 years. But God is saying he wants to make you whole. Notice the man's stronghold was people. His self-infliction. Blaming everybody. Excuses. It was mental. But his soul tie, watch this. 
he became one with his disease. Don't you know that you can come become one with your disease, uh, your handicap? Caught him wondering if he would ever get help. But I come to declare on today that today you are going to get over it.